Welcome YouTubers, it is Gizzy Greenfingers here and this is my Corkscrew Willow Bonsai Tree aka Weeping Willow because I'm making it weep and I've had it, um, I've taken the wires off for the last two weeks to let it grow and it's got to the specifications it's got to those it's got to that point where I'm thinking, hmm, I need to start wiring you so I can see my vision. Because we got we got branches coming out everywhere and some of these branches I don't want. And some of them I do. Now this one I'm paying a lot of attention to that because that is one that I had to cut off. Not that particular one, but I did have to cut that off last year. And I'm trying to regrow it. Alright, it's going to be a bit a bit late than all these others because you can see look at all that ramification starting and that is what we're, where we're getting at so yeah stay tuned so for instance you see that that's the end of that whole branch that i let grow out but i don't want that on because i want it to start thick at the top and then get thinner and thinner as it goes on so i let this other branch grow in front of that you see and then if I get rid of the one behind, that will look great with the ramification of the tree, you see. So first things first, you're going to need a two millimetre wire. And I use an aluminium wire with a copper finish because I found with the copper finish with this corkscrew willow, it just... it. It's a lot better than a black wire. It doesn't show as much. It just blends in a lot better. Now, when I'm wiring, and you'll, you'll see this quite quite a few times today. When I'm wiring, I'm taking extra care not to get any of the side branches trapped in the wire. Or any of the leaves, for that instance. Because if you're getting a leaf trapped in your wire that's not a good thing because that's where your never branch is going to come from you see so you get a leaf trapped in the wire and your branches that's where your nodes your node is you see and you get that trapped in it it's not going to come out of the wire from the wire is it it's, it's just going to be effed up so anywho I've got some wire snips here, and they're brand new. I bought some brand new motherfuckers. I'm gonna just pow, snip that right off, you see. And look at that, epic. I know, yeah, it's epic. Now, you just gotta wire that into place, but one wire just doesn't do it. You have to do the whole effing thing. So, until you've done all of it, you, you won't see that vision. So, the next step, well, you see that branch on the end? I don't like that. I don't want that there. That is not part of my vision. So, we're going to get my wire cutters. My wire snips. That's what people call them, snips. That's called wire cutters. And we're going to pow! And he off. Oh, he off, all right. Now, I know it's hard to see my vision with all these other leaves in the way, and that's something I haven't mentioned yet. This tree was starting to lose leaves, and they were starting to go yellow. It happens every year. Um, the last two years, this has happened. And I was like, yeah, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. It's going to help me out, because I can defoliate at the same time, which I did. I just picked them all off, picked all the ones that were yellowing. And why was that? Well... One of two things, one of two things, I'll just wire this as I talk, this is, this is a secret wiring, I'm not going to show you because my palm, my hand's going to be in the way, but yeah, one of two things, I had, <coughs> sorry, I'm losing my voice, I had green fly, green fly, or aphids, one of the two, green mm -hmm. fly, Right, yeah, we'll be dancing soon. Green fly, I think it was. And um, Jason, my work colleague, slash mate, was like, 
No, you want to sort that out. You, you, you don't want to keep those like that. Yeah, kill it. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it, Jason. I'm working. I've got some... I got some spray. You want rose clear? And I was like, yeah, I can't afford rose clear. I've got a cheap Amazon one. No, that, that just won't do it. I said, yeah, well, we'll see. So I sprayed it with this cheap Amazon one that I had, and um, it didn't do a lot. And then I sprayed it again like a week later, <coughs> and then it seemed to like sort it all out. And I thought, oh yeah, that's worked. That's worked, Jace. Yeah, it worked. And then, now, I'm just noticing, oh, I'm losing a lot of leaves. And it's either that, or, well, I've um, fed it with miracle Grow all-purpose. It was a bit too strong. It usually, like, when you feed it as well, I notice this, when you feed it, it, it just wants to, like, lose the old leaves and then push out the new ones, you know? Bloody crazy. Crazy. So I'm just finishing off some a few final touches and I could be doing this for like hours. It takes hours to wire this complete tree. But um it's it's a passion. It's a passion, alright. It's a passion. But da -da, it's a bit more light than that. Oh, you see the vision yet? Oh, you will. You will when this loses all its leaves due to drought, like mid July, August. Always does because it's in such a small part, and I haven't worked out how to. I've been so lazy to get another something for it to sit in, so I could just use it as a res reservoir. Reservoir. But now I can start to see this beautiful specimen taking shape. I am more more aware of to to get it a, an effing bigger pot, not a pot so much. Um, like a little bucket thing just to put some water in it just so it last all day for when I get home from work I can go oh yeah you're not wilting because you get home from work and then when all the leaves are wilting I know they are going to be coming off and then that does scare me because I'm like oh crap is it going to come back this year is it, is it going to come back and it always does it always does So here is an example of my amazing wiring. I said on one previous video I'm not that good at wiring, but I am bloody good at wiring because I've had so much practice with this. I actually had a YouTuber say, Hey Gizzy, how many times do you wire it a year? And I was like, hmm. Yeah, all right. I told a lie. I didn't have a YouTuber say that, but a YouTuber should have said that to me. Like, hey, Gizzy, how many times do you work? Unless you're all just avid fans and you watch all my videos and you just already know. So, that, yeah, that's probably what it is. That's probably what it is. But I suppose you want to know how many times I do buy this a year. Well, I'll be frank. I don't effing know. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to say four, maybe four times a year. Um, that two millimetre wire I bought from Amazon, there are other places to buy it from, but Amazon I get my crap from. So I put it against my taxes, you see. It's bonsai wire. It's part of my, I'm a gardener. So I can put my bonsai wire against my taxes because I'm self employed. Um, that cost me 12 quid. Yeah, I've got it before, and it's cost me t cost me ten quid, but it cost me twelve quid this time because it's in a fancy effing box. I was like, I don't want that effing box. So another good thing about the corkscrew willow variety than the weeping willow variety is it's got this lovely red, reddish, barky colour, and not only that. It like contorts and twists and that's why they call it a corkscrew willow. But it just looks epic. And I thought that would look effing amazing in a bonsai form. I thought that two and a half years ago. It, this cutting will be three years old 
in September. End of September. That'd be three years old. Now, what you see in front of you has happened in three years because I didn't have any of this top crap going on. I made this. I made it. I made it, and I'm proud. I am proud. This is... This tree and my oak tree, I made them from birth. I'm fucking tree birth, man. I made them. And, and I'm... I'm emotional. I'm an emotional wreck. But that's what working on minimum wage does for you. So if you want to... If you want to... Give like a fiver here or there. There's a little thing. One of the bottom effing corners. I don't know where it is, but... There is. Do you want to know how much money people are giving me? Nil point. Nil point. Like the um, <coughs> like the English Eurovision. <laughs> what was all that about? I know. What was all that about? That was that was way too gay. Way too gay. Way too gay. Anywho, so it's time to look at the bigger picture. And this is the bigger picture, ladies and gentlemen. So I've just found a branch that I ain't effing happy about. I don't want that. So he's coming out. That's just grown from this year. And I'm like, where the fuck you come from? I'm going to fucking have you out. Pow! And I have him out. Oh, look at that older structure. That looks good, that branch structure, doesn't it, eh? Eh, you got to admit it. You've got to admit it. I just don't know how you do it, because they're green fingers. Well, a lot of... A lot of time, a lot of, gotta have a lot of, you gotta have a lot of patience. <laughs> you gotta have a lot of patience. Isn't that a song? I think it was. I don't know, it's too late to apologise. So I'm looking at this cluster of branches right in front of you, and I'm thinking, mm-hmm. No, I'm not happy with that. So, we're going to get my wire snips. Fucking wire cutters. And we're just going to go, pow. Just a little pow. And we'll have them out. Because we've got too much going on. And the light won't penetrate through that. And it would be like, oh no, I'm not getting the light. So my leaves are going to go yellow. And then I'm going to die. And then I'm going to make that whole branch die. And then the whole effing tree die maybe who who knows I lost two big effing branches last winter but this is what we've got now 